Question four. The table gives some information about birds policies in her garden one day. Complete the accurate pie chart. All pie charts made from 360 degrees, so knowing how many degrees each bird is worth will help us work out how many degrees each section needs to be. The important side of pie charts is always to know how many degrees we have to draw for each part of the pie chart and make sure it's labelled. There's a lot of different ways of doing this, but if we stick with an easy method and say, right, all together we've got 72 birds in that one day. So if there are 72 birds, each of those will have a share of our 360 degrees. 360 divided by 72 is 5. So every bird is worth 5 degrees. If we multiply our frequency by 5, we'll have the number of degrees needed to be shown on the pie chart. So if we multiply each value by 5, 15 times 5 is 75 degrees. 10 times 5 is 50 degrees, 20 times 5 is 100 degrees, and 27 times 5, while you can do it on the top of your head, there is no harm in checking on a calculator, it gives you 135 degrees. That calculation is probably the single most important part for a pie chart question, and will always give you a mark. Now that we know what the angles are, we just need to draw this onto our pie chart. Now, putting the protractor in the middle of the pie chart, lining the cross up with the center, which has already been drawn, we can see that magpie has already been drawn at 75 degrees. So it's a nice way just to check that we've got the right number. Thrush needs to be 50 degrees. Biggest mistake people would make here, even if they've calculated it correctly, will still be to start here and end up drawing the thrush section right smack bang in the middle of the magpie doesn't work each time you finish a section move zero to the end of that section as close to it as you can get on the computer it doesn't work entirely well for me but we want 50 degrees so once zero is lined up find 50 and you want to put a little dash here to indicate that you've got 50 degrees there join that up with a line and you'll have drawn in this section here for thrush. You can label this at the end but it's a good idea to do this as you go and then rinse and repeat for the final two sections 100 degrees for starling. So line our protractor up with the center, rotate the protractor so that zero is on my new line as I can get anyway, find 100 degrees and draw my section in. And this was Starling. If you need any tips on how to use a protractor, do check out the video that's linked in the comment section below. The final section here should be 135 degrees. Uh, it's always a good idea just to double check. So find zero, line it up with our new line, and that should be approximately on 135. Make sure that you have labelled every section. You could design a key, you could have a little label with arrows coming off, but generally writing in the middle of the section is good enough to give you your final mark.